Hello and welcome to Top Arts 2022. I'm David Menzies. And I'm Ingrid Wood. We're educators at the NGV and curators of this year's Top Arts exhibition. Top Arts 2022 displays exemplary artworks from young artists who completed VCE Art and VCE Studio Arts in 2021. Over 1,300 students applied to have their work exhibited, 128 were shortlisted, and of these, a final 47 artworks were selected for the exhibition. On top of the usual challenges of VCE, the students of 2021 contended with a second year of COVID lockdowns. And as you know, it was pretty hard. Students moved between learning from home and working at school. Top Arts 2022 is a testament to their remarkable resilience and creativity. This video is a short taster to introduce you to the exhibition through several of its artworks. The themes that emerged in this year's selection of works include the passing of time, explorations of identity, works about home and sanctuary, questions around what makes a good life, and works about our connection to the natural world. This year, students explored gender, culture, society, mental health, family and friends as shapers of identity. The exhibition begins with the work of Artie Fuchs. Artie's enormous painting A Party in the Closet challenges traditional gender stereotypes. It celebrates joyful, free expressions of gender identity and calls it the toxic behaviours and attitudes which can spread like a virus among groups of young men. Amy Pham's painting The Weight of Your World shows a troubled looking figure with lots of hands reaching towards her to represent the different forces that try to direct a young person. Despite their good intentions, this attempt to guide and support can sometimes stop the person from developing their own sense of self through making their own choices. Passing of time was another theme that emerged in the work of this year's artists. Morgan D. Walker's realistic scratchboard rendering is called Adulthood's Remorse. Time-worn hands hold a bedraggled teddy. It's about the regret of growing up and leaving the innocence of childhood behind. Jane Sue's The Night Market looks back in time. It depicts a happy childhood memory of visiting a night market in Malaysia with family, something not possible with the travel restrictions during the pandemic. Spending more time at home made some students view their home in a different light. For some, home was the sanctuary or the space in which stories unfolded, and for others, it was about human drama or family tension. Lily Cochram's Homesick, for example, captures a glimpse of the tensions of isolating at home and the stress it placed on sibling bonds. It represents contrasting mindsets in times of crisis, anger and denial and frustration on one hand and acceptance on the other. Kelly Pelletune takes the idea of home as somewhere safe and ordinary and turns it on its head in a sculpture, It's Alive. Fascinated by horror, phobias and everything gross, Kelly created a bathroom scene in which the ordinary reality is shattered by the tentacles bursting through the floor. Bath time will never be the same again. Do you ever think about how your choices impact others? Or how we might make life better for everybody, not just a few? The theme of a good life includes works by students who considered our social values and systems and what it means for us to live a good life. Liana Kellerman's short film, Businessman, follows a businessman, played by Liana's dad, through the city, suburbs and natural environments to ask questions about the value and cost of capitalism. And Sandra Gibbon's enormous lino print title, Breed, is about fast fashion and the cost of our hunger for the latest fashions at low prices. It's shown here with the lino block alongside the print, contrasting the painstaking process of making the print with the speed and throwaway ethos of the fashion industry. Nature was a source of comfort and inspiration during 2021. Many students explored the power of connecting with the natural world in their work. For example, Daniel Ireland's performance in Breeze, emphasised by the colour and movement of their costume, captures the free movement of nature contrasted with the jarring interruptions of mankind. Zara Blake learned how to work with clay during her VCE year, picking up new skills as she went. The unpredictable nature of play and the Raku firing techniques she used were a powerful metaphor for the chaos and order found in nature. Rangers Close By is a collection of wheel thrown Raku fired vessels imprinted with feathers and horsehair arranged to form a landscape. The layered arrangement of shapes, the earthy colours, the natural textures all emulate a mountain range conveying the impact of nature. Emily Brown underlines the importance of appreciating the little things in life. 
Her drawing captures water flowing over feet and paws with a mask floating nearby to allude to how the pandemic has impacted our lives. The image and the title of the work, The Little Things, prompts us to relish life's little delicious moments. We hope you've enjoyed this short introduction to Top Arts 2022. Please visit the exhibition in person, explore the Top Arts Hub on the NGV website, or join us on site or in a virtual excursion for an interactive, in-depth look into the works. We look forward to seeing you.